Hi everyone, welcome to Coding Mindset channel. Uh, I wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year 2021. Uh, from effective uh, January 1st, 2021, CPT changes have been uh, done by and published by American Medical Association. Uh, and the link is uh, available in Google uh, for the document of uh, CPT changes uh, in ENM and prolonged services 2021, uh, which is easily downloadable. Uh, if you want the link for that, uh, I'll be providing uh, the link in my comment section and also in the description of this video. So please collect it and save it. It is very useful in order to code um, uh, ENM and prolonged services codes. Okay, uh, let us see uh, the ENM changes done uh, in 2021. Uh, 99201 which is a new of uh, office visit okay has been deleted instead uh, we have all the other codes same but have been revised how we'll see uh, we have 99202 203 204 205 for new office visits except 99201 which has been deleted then uh, we have established patient office visits that is 99211, 212, 213, 214 and 215. What has majorly been changed is when you are coding office visits, uh, history and uh, physical examination, you need not calculate point wise. Uh, okay, uh, what is medically appropriate? Okay, minimum documentation is sufficient for patient history and examination. Uh, mainly the level coding is based on uh, the risk factor that is in mdm medical decision making uh, we will see in detail about these codes okay uh, and uh, then we have prolonged services codes okay prolonged service means what than the usual time uh, if suppose the CPT says uh, 55 minutes of physician time. More than that, there is no other code for evaluation management or any other ENM. Okay, then we give these prolonged services codes. What are they? And how many types of prolonged services are there? One is direct face to face patient contact with the physician, then uh, in outpatient setting, and uh, another one is in observation or in patient setting. Okay, uh, we have separate set of codes. Then uh, we have uh, clinical staff service prolonged service during an evaluation management by the physician um, you know during an encounter um, under direct uh, supervision uh, physician supervision we have separate set of codes then uh, the prolonged services code before and after a patient visit that we have another set of separate set of codes and for especially office visits okay we have a prolonged service code new code for each additional 15 minutes and this code is 99 triple x and this goes with 99205 and 215 now let's see the codes so this table is provided by AMA. If you see 99201 has been deleted and we have only 99211. And then uh, 9920212 uh, is a straightforward or minimal risk. 9203 and 213 is a low risk uh, in MDM table. And then we have 9904214 which is a moderate risk. 9905 and 215 is high risk. You read the bullet points and uh, assign the code as per the description in the medical record. So this is the new code uh, for office visits especially 99 X, and it states prolonged office or other outpatient evaluation and management uh, service requiring total time with or without direct patient contact beyond the usual service on the date of primary service each additional 15 minutes. So this goes with 99205 and 215 only. If uh, prolonged service is less than 15 minutes, we cannot assign this prolonged service code to the uh, regular uh, office visit that is 99205 and 215. Here you can see the 
table where 99 triple x uh, times uh, is given based on that time length of duration which the physician is um, evalu evaluating the patient just have a look at this how they have coded look at this uh, for office visits whether it is new or established only there are uh, nine codes and 99201 has been deleted and uh, all are revised tell you about prolonged clinical staff service these two are the two add-on codes 99415 and 99416 415 states prolonged clinical staff service during an evaluation and management service in the office or outpatient setting, direct patient contact with physician supervision first hour and each additional 30 minutes you give 99416 along with 415 and below is the breakdown structure based on time, how many times we have to assign the codes. Say this 99358 and 99359. It's a prolonged evaluation and management service before and or after direct patient care first hour and the breakdown structure is given below. It's also important to read all the uh, notes in the brackets given below okay in order to assign the codes. See these codes 993545 and 356 and 357. These are prolonged services in the outpatient setting and observation setting. 99354 and 355 for outpatient setting. 356, 357 are for inpatient or observation setting. Uh, the, the except for office visits like uh, psychotherapy, then uh, outpatient consultations, we give the prolonged service codes 99354 and 355. If it is an inpatient or observation setting for inpatient consultation or admit codes, uh, we give 99356 and 357. The breakdown structure based on time is given. So, this is all about ENM changes and uh, prolonged services uh, revised coding uh, guidelines uh, for 2021. Hope you like this video. Uh, for more uh, information and more videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.